Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making a really cute ornament, and we're going to be using the stuff that you already have. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using um, the end of the ribbon spool, and you're just going to need one of these to actually be the base of your ornament. You're also going to need some decorative paper, and you're going to need six of these for every one of these because we're going to it's going to be a dimensional ornament. You're going to need some string because you want to hang your ornament. I found this gold string in my stash, so but you can use jute twine, you can use baker's twine, uh, whatever you want to hang your ornament. And let me show you the paper pack that I used. And I know you have lots of paper in your stash. This is a good way to use it. I'm using this paper. I think it's really pretty. It's Teresa Collins paper pad. And um, I just think it's so pretty. And especially with the sparkly stuff for, um, for the holidays. So I'm gonna have fun making some ornaments out of these. Look at those, those colors and how pretty they are. So I've, this has a, a large variety of papers, but I, I figured I'd pull out the sparkly stuff. Look at that. So, but you can use whatever you have in your stash. I've got some, the smaller circle I'm gonna use to show you with, but you can also use these larger ones too that your ribbons come with. So if you like making bows like me, you probably have a lot of these and you're not sure what to do with them. So all you're gonna do is you are going to take these and fold them in half with the artwork on the inside. Super easy. Folding these in half. So you just wanna make sure you line them up real good because that, that's gonna matter. And I used two different types of paper. I thought I'd kind of do it a little bit differently this time because I've been making a few of these today. So this particular idea I saw on Pinterest and I said, you know, what? I could make that, but I'm going to make it using this base right here. I think it'll make it a little bit more sturdier. And even if you don't have this, you can use whatever size circle you want. You can use the cereal boxes. Um, the oatmeal boxes, whatever you have, the popcorn boxes. So a good way to use up your stash and decorate the Christmas tree. Okay, so once you have these um, folded in half with the artwork on the inside, you wanna go ahead and put your glue on here. And it's okay that this has a hole in it that's gonna be covered up. So I'm just gonna take that one side and just take my glue stick and just Rub my glue on here real good. Get that nice and covered. So you can use whatever glue you have in your stash. And once that's covered like that, now you're gonna start putting on your, your artwork, your decorative paper. So let's see. See how I was trying to do a little pattern with this. I'm gonna go in the middle. So I'm mixing two different patterns. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to just line it up right on the side here. And the words kind of help me for lining it up straight here, just like that. So I'm putting on, on I'm just covering half of the circle. Then you're going to take your other paper and line it up on the other side. Let's see. And you see, if I lay that flat, you can see that better. And you see how that is? I'm just lining it right up to the other one. I just need to look at this real good. Just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my other one, the one right in the middle. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and you're going to put your glue. You don't want to move that though. Let's see. You're going to have to hold that in place so it doesn't move. And that's fine. Now, if you want to use a liquid glue, you can. But I kind of like this glue right here. Okay. Just going right out to the edges there. And I'm going to take this other one because I'm mixing it up a little bit. 
I'm just going to place this right in the middle here, just like that. And then I'm going to fold it out and lay it flat. So now you've got a dimensional thing going on here like this. So I'm going to let it lay flat for now. I'll fluff it up in a little bit. I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. See how super easy this is? And see the hole is covered up now. Really quick and easy ornaments. You can get the kids to do this. Because once you really take them through one, they'll get the hang of it and you can just go ahead and decorate the tree all day long. Okay, so now I want this. When you're putting this other one on, you want to make sure it's lined up with this one right here. So if you go that way, then it'll be kind of a different kind of dimension. And that might work for you, but I want it to be lined up just like that. So you see how I'm lining those up in the middle there? So you just kind of want to take a look to see if you're all lined up with the other side. And that looks like it's pretty lined up to me. Let me put a little bit of glue in there just because. All right. Yep. Still drying. Okay. And then you're going to take your other one. And I'm just going to place it right next to this, just like I did on the other side. And I'm going to take my glue here. And just kind of gently without pulling it, because it's still drying, so just kind of want to be gentle with it. You see, my fingers are really sticking to that. That's okay. And if you want to use a liquid glue, you can, if that, if that works for you. Okay, so now I'm going to line this up in the middle here. And I almost forgot my string to hang it with. Okay, so let me just put a little bit more glue on here. I really want this. I've had this glittery string for a minute, and I haven't used it. So now I get to use it. And I'm just going to put this right in the middle there right in the middle there and I'm just going to fold this over just like that okay and you see the string even though it's you can see it a little bit through there it's okay now I'm going to kind of fluff this up just like that and I'm going to fluff the other side up and then if you think it's too big like if it comes out if that bothers you you could always cut it down just a little bit but this looks so cute. And so now you have your dimensional ornament. Look how cute that is. And I just mixed and matched papers. Here's another one I did. Kept all the paper the same. And look how cute that's going to look hanging from your tree. Super simple. Here's another one I did using the larger circles. That's this circle right here. So I used the larger circles and made one. But I think this having this in the middle just makes it a little bit more sturdier. So super easy to make. I hope that you like this really short, quick tutorial because we need short stuff, <laughs> uh, stuff to do, especially with the holidays coming up and simple stuff we can make. So I hope this helped you. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And leave a comment below because I'm going to be sending some more ornament ideas your way. So I will see you real soon, and don't forget to like this video. Bye.